the first thing you need is you need a you need a you need a solid idea that's going to work, and I think that is the warlord system. I think the second thing we needed was the new location, and and which allowed us the use of gunpowder. So Stephen does a lot of the kind of the the core design, and he he basically sits in the middle of programming and art, and him and I will kind of discuss the high level stuff. Uh, but he's kind of tasked with delivering most of that stuff. Yeah, so at the start of Warlords, we had a design document, uh, a kind of a very first draft design document made by Simon, outlined, I think, almost all of the fundamentals that have made it even you know, to this point in the development. So it included um, all the new units, um, the concept of having this Warlord system, which uh, you know, right from the start, that was that's what we wanted to be the kind of the selling point of the game. That this is how it's going to the gameplay is going to diverge from previous stronghold games. Um, so that was a really uh, helpful starting point to you know launch us into kind of exploring how the how the game would develop and where we would take it from there. And so the first thing I was working on was actually the historical research because what we wanted to do was look at. Which historical characters to base the campaigns on? There were there were a couple of obvious candidates that we wanted to, to go with. Um, one was Genghis Khan and the Khans in general, because that was just such a massive piece of global history, and I knew that one. Beyond that, we were then on a journey ourselves to go and discover more about um, Japanese and Chinese history, of which there are lots. There are lots of sieges, lots of battles, and so then it was a case of picking which ones we wanted to go with, which ones we think would work well um, with Stronghold, with our kind of castle-based defending.